How is that not just creating more simps? <laughs> if, you want, if you want more whatever, you're going to get more simps. It is creating more simps. Shit, it is creating more simps. Now that I think about it. Who sculpts themselves more for the opposite sex, men or women? Men sculpt themselves for the women all the time. How? Well, we try to work on our bodies. Uh, we also work on the way we talk to them at home by ourselves in the mirror. <laughs> I'd say women because they got the stereo like they got to wear the makeup, they got to do all their fancy stuff, they got to look good, they got to look sexual. There's a lot of pressure on them. We try to find the best restaurants to take the one you like to a really nice restaurant and um, we try to impress them around other men. Sometimes you'll see two men wrestling in front of a group of girls, you know, stuff like that. Which is more unrealistic, the masculine standards placed on men or the feminine standards placed on women? I think the feminine standards are much more unfair. I think that, you know, historically, just from beauty campaigns and magazine spreads, it's always been like this unrealistic approach to what a woman should be and look like, and it's like completely unfair. It's not to say it doesn't exist for men too, but it's really unfair for women. Well, what are those standards and who defines them? Women define them, first and foremost. And the standards are mostly, uh, they stem from money. A lot of money, let's just be real. Um, he got to be in shape. He, gotta, he can't have this, he can't have that. We got to have money. We got to have a solid home, you know, somewhere we, we live. We have, a, we have to have a car. Um, we got to be interesting, have humor, uh, uh, kind of aggressive. We take, we take lead and take control. They want a lot of stuff out of us sensitive yet gangster yet you know intelligent and just you got to be perfect if being masculine is a natural process why are men often shamed to be sculpted that way uh because society is building a new man that they, they want a, I guess a less aggressive man just in case the tyranny wants to put their strong arm down on the men and the women we can't defend our homes I guess I don't know <laughs> I don't, is, are men shamed to be sculpted masculine? Yeah, they're called beta males, they're called simps, they're called soft, you know? I don't know, I guess I'm not familiar with this. I don't, I don't subscribe to that. Why do people assume that if you're not successful, it's because you don't work hard? For like social media, social media gives people false reality sometimes on what they believe. Oftentimes it shows all the like fake good, but it doesn't show the bad that people are going through and everything like that. I don't think money should equate to success. I think that's what they throw society on. Like, of course, you got money, then you're successful. But if you're miserable, and that goes back to the other question, like if you're going to a job just to pay your bills, but you hate it, you're slowly dying. It takes trial and error to get somewhere you want to go. No one just starts, you know, anything in one day. It takes trial and error. And, uh, you know, some people don't want to be with someone who's building something that's not already set in stone. If you're not a bodybuilder or a millionaire, does that mean you're not becoming the best man you can be? Definitely not true. Definitely not true. You can become the best man you can be without being a millionaire for sure. For sure. Or a bodybuilder, for sure. If you don't got the money, you're not, you're not going to have the women. You're not going to have the friends that stay around you with money because money attracts money. And um, it's just an all-around shitbag if you don't have your money together. Now, physical attraction and physical attributes, that's always a big thing when it comes to the female perspective. They, I guess they're thinking futuristic. Is my child going to come out with the physical attributes of a strong man or, you know, stuff like that. What's the difference between men's self-improvement versus sculpting yourself as a tool to be used by women? Um, the difference is you have to know why you're doing it. Your end goal is very important. If you keep your end goal as yourself being a better version, then uh, the women will always be forced to come second. I think you have goals in your own mind about what you should look like, feel like, act like, and how you should think versus sculpting yourself for a woman is more like it's kind of like putting on a show, it's like theater, it's like acting. We do a lot of acting when it comes to dating. How much more is required for women to be satisfied? Uh, a, a lot more. Because I think women, are, most women are not that satisfied with anything. How much self-improvement is necessary to be considered a high-level man according to women? Um, I would say that's up to the person. You know, it, it's different for every person. Uh, I can't say that the same for me is the same for somebody else. According to most women, the stereotypical is just got to be successful and just make a shitload of money. 
Why do you need to be ultra rich to attract women if you're told to not lead with your wallet? Because of the expectations that women place on men nowadays, they expect us to be hyper successful and everything outside of the normal and outside of the standard that now men have to be like that. It's the easiest. I say that's the easiest way to go to pull women if you're ultra rich. On their side, no woman wants a broke man, but at the same time, on our side, you know, you got to give me time, baby. Real women don't care about how much money you make, man. They're not even concerned with that. They're more concerned with your personality, what type of guy you are, what you going to do. Like, are you fun to be around? Are you cool to be around? Aren't you more likely to attract gold diggers, which is the very thing we're trying to get away from? Uh, yes, I definitely believe so. Yeah, if you got the money, you're going to attract all the gold diggers. I'm not going to lie about that. Yeah. You want to be successful. You want to improve yourself. But my honest opinion is all bullshit. Like, I have tons of money, but I don't look like I have tons of money. And that's how I live my life. Now, if I dress up and had gold everywhere, like, I'd attract all the women. But, like, none of those women would be sufficient for me because I'm not that type of person. It's been said that average men are invisible to women. So men must improve if they want to play the game. But also, don't improve for women, improve for yourself. How does that make any sense? Well, that's a, that's a catch-22 right there. Because I'm trying to first improve for myself, you know, because um, we have our own dreams. And then you want to make sure that you're a stronger person for your, you know, your next wife or your girlfriend or whoever you're trying to intrigue to get somewhere with them. You want to improve. You want to be better, you know? Who's more delusional? Sexy women who say they dress for themselves or high-level men who say they improve for themselves? Sexy women. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go with the women because, uh, you know, it's easier to dress up than improve. Don't both do it for the attention of the opposite sex. They do, but our job is a lot harder in terms of time and money. Don't both do it for the attention of the opposite sex? Yes. Don't both do it for the attention of the opposite sex? Of course, but like, who's going to admit that? If men have to improve for female validation, how is that not the ultimate form of simping? <laughs> well, let me see. Uh, yeah, it is, it is, it is kind of like sipping. You know, you should be thinking about yourself first and the man upstairs. And then I think that'll attract everybody else that's trying to be in your cipher. But it doesn't always work that way. You know, some people are stronger and some people are weaker, man. It's just the way it is. I mean, in some way, everybody's a simp. If you, if you got money, you take a girl to a fancy restaurant. That's simping, you feel me? There's no difference of you being broke. You take a girl to talk about That's simping, you feel me? But I feel like it's just, it's determined on what you think simping is. What everybody thinks simping is. Simping's different for everybody, you feel me? Well, then why are we shaming simps? Mm, we shouldn't be. But we are. Mm, you're right. We are. Does it make sense? Mm, I feel like you can't shame a sim. If you ain't got the money, you could shame them. But if you got the money for it and you're able to trick off and do your thing, you can't shame them. Who's more afraid to admit they're average, men or women, and why? Men. Men. Oh my. Well, this comes from perspective as a man. But, like, yeah, de I think definitely man. Because ego. Ego. That's why. I think women are more apt to say they're average. I think a man's going to, like, you know they're gonna puff up their chest and it's always the worst it's always the worst kind of guy that says they're not average too man i think women are more narcissistic than men you know serious who's taking a million selfies who's 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 showing their ass in the, in the mirror 20 times a day man you can ask a woman right now is she a one out of ten and uh it's gonna be on the higher end of seven to ten but if you ask a guy we're most we're usually more real with ourselves but we don't put on makeup every day so I, I i'd figure we'd be more real as the great minister jab so-called great minister jab says even jesus can't say these hoes if you had to choose would you rather have one woman who really loves you or a rotation of models you have meaningless sex with myself one woman i'd really love one woman who truly loves me um it's hard to find love yeah one person that loves me for me i want somebody that likes me like i love myself or loves me like I love myself. Why do so many red pill men who can't get one woman think they'll end up having a rotation of women? Because we're delusional. <laughs> we're delusional. Because they're getting sold a dream, man, by all these, you know, a lot of different red pillar uh, podcasters that, you know, got cats who really, you know, you beat off every day, all day, and you think that if you get your money up, that now you're about to all of a sudden have a personality 
to start picking up women. Women do like money, but you got to, you got to, you know, I guess the, the saying is women are marketers and men are salesmen and you got to sell it, dog. I think it's projecting, you know, they're like, oh, if I can't get one woman, well, I can get any woman I want. Why would women ever cheat on or divorce high level men? Because they found something better or they were just gold diggers? Greed, not being satisfied, um, not being fulfilled. Um, always thinking that the grass is greener on the other side, always trying to find something better, find more, or, you know, she just might be foul. She just might be a, a foul person, man. If becoming high value is the end all be all, why have so many high level men been destroyed by our legal system? Our legal system is somewhat corrupt. Um, I hate to say it, but it's in the, it's in the favor of women. I mean, we, I wish you could make a change but it takes, it takes all of us. How do men benefit in the long run by sculpting themselves for a poor quality woman with superficial values? Um, they don't. It's just a temporary satisfaction of the simping of it. Like, they're like, oh, look at my hot girlfriend. But literally when you're saying that, everybody's looking at your hot girlfriend and knowing that you just have her because you have money. Are these the women to build a future with? Some of them are. You have to get lucky. I, that's what I think. I think you have to get lucky. Why are we trading a lifetime of achieving success for some short-term fun with a bunch of gold diggers? Because who doesn't love fun? For some short-term fun with a bunch of gold diggers. A lifetime of achieving success brings you a lot more happiness than the gold diggers that come with it. And if so, would it make sense to slut shame women on top of it? You shouldn't slut shame women. I say you ignore them. I don't slut shame women personally because I think sluts are like a... That's an occupation for me, you know, and that's not a bad occupation, so f*** it. So, what's going to happen the minute you show weakness or you let your guard down? They're going to shame you. That's what they do. That's just, what, that's just how life goes. As soon as you show weakness, somebody's going to shame you for being weak. So how is that better than a boss-employee relationship? It's not, but again, that's how life goes, and if you want to change it, then change it yourself. Why does the Manosphere spend so much time on self-improvement and men grooming themselves to please toxic women that just want to use them and bring nothing to the table? I think uh, it's all about the chase. It has a lot to do with where you're at in your life. Some people feel like, you know, I want something better, so I'm going to keep sculpting on myself. Maybe it will attract someone that is better in my mind at the gym or, you know, stuff like that. Well, self-improvement can't be the answer to the mo modern woman problem. If we've got guys who have finished that, that, that mission and made it to the other end and they're still ended up with the same women problems, I mean, the, the saying goes, more, more bitches, more problems. Why are we catering to women's preferences who don't have good values? Because they're hot sometimes. How is that not just creating more simps? <laughs> it is, but at the same time, that's the world we live in and you gotta get used to it. If you want, if you want more whatever, you're gonna get more simps. How is that not just creating more simps? <laughs> Shit, it is creating more simps, now that I think about it. It is creating more simps. It is, man. And just a bunch of fools who are about to get their heart broken. You know what I mean? Realistically, you know, because it's, it's, it's ill-gotten. It's fictitious means. You know what I mean? It's, it's all fake. It's just a facade. You know what I mean? It's not really you. Or if you strip away all that, what you have, then what are you really? You know what I mean? Are they gonna are they gonna mess with you then? I doubt it. You know what I mean? Get laid off from your job and see what happens. You know what I mean? Get locked up and see what happens. You know what I mean? Things like that. You know? It's complicated. It's dope. And the ladies they want you to change and they want you to really be better than average. Today yeah, I'm doing my thing and I know I'm a king. That means I need me talking to queen and this is the way I'm living my life. The way that I rap, I've been made for the scene Yo, they want me to really be better than better Like Gucci or Louis or Finney It's crazy, it's kinda like Polo And maybe the logo I'm rocking. I've been with my family I got a lady, I know she the queen But I know that she never been average Why do you think that I woke up this morning and ate me my cabbage? It was some practice It's just like a movie, they yell in our action They want me to really be better? And how could I really be better when every day I be bringing home cheddar? The mozzarella feeling better They told me to send it off all in a letter And he gave me a question, here is the answer Wait, yeah I've been better They told me to rap, I've never been average a lot of women, they fake like plastic. And why do you think that I changed the game and I did it all with some rapping? I don't even curse no profanity. I got a different energy. Is you feeling me? I gotta put it in choreography. And when I rap, I make history. Wait, everybody better Google the answer because people, they do want some change. Well, if I want change, that means I'm a rapper today. I'ma just do my thing. These women, they said that they perfect. So
far but wait never lean so that means that i changed that scene i only drink water never been leaning it means that i want to be better now i never ever want to be average freestyle with the practice i'll be making the rules i got the record in the back and i know it's complicated with the action and i know that they watching now double tap and just drop that comment you top his dope you too now when i did it for the crowd it's complicated it's complicated Freestyle complicated And he told me that rapping That means that I did it I don't even drink But the lyrics is faded I keep it a hundred It is amazing Why do you think that a king On the stage I'm seeing the queens And they really amazing I can never ever be average I'm authentic not plastic If I did it Means I gotta leave it If I start rapping Preaching like a pastor God is the reason That I got the power But look at the camera It's all in my face Like I'm a win And I'm hitting the stage I keep it a hundred I start an earthquake Shout out to God Remember to pray If you pray together Then you stay together Why do you think That I'm feeling better Cause God Yo he really sent the letter He told me to keep my hope and faith every day never ever be average be better than the others that's really working so hard and they still up at practice i've been living my life as reality people they better just google me never been foolery shining like johnny dang jewelry beat up the beat knock it down look at this bully and wait it's complicated put me gonna buy a phone with flavor everybody here on youtube you better double tap now for the greater view i got a life look the grass is greener and it means on the other side and you told me to rap and i know that it's complicated in my rhyme and it means that i only got time the ladies right now and i know they fine give me 10 minutes but i don't like niggas no average i like dimes it's complicated